Hello, Jess Too Good here, and this is my first video of the year where we're taking a look at the third 2023 LEGO Ideas review, where 42 ideas qualified to potentially become a LEGO set. Now, this is less than last review period, which had 49, then the one before that was in the 70s. So it seems like the actual review periods are dwindling in their numbers, but still, 42 is quite a bit of potential LEGO sets. So let's start with the Modular Heritage Museum. The design of this one right here is something I don't think they're going to make. They rarely make anything that's modular, you know, like for LEGO ideas at least. Now, if you're new to this, I say if it's likely to become a set, not likely at all, if I'm not entirely sure. So I have different rankings. This one I would say I don't think is likely to become a LEGO set because there's been so many modular ideas for projects to become potential sets, and none of them have been selected before. So this isn't the first to reach 10k, and while it does look absolutely lovely, I don't think this will be one that they select to be the first to be a modular building as a LEGO Ideas project. Now there are buildings similar to modular buildings, like say the old fishing house or the A-frame cabin, but not a straight up modular building like this Heritage Museum. Then we have the Great Temple of Abu Simbel, which I probably butchered the name of. This is an actual temple in Egypt. What I really like about the build here is how they get the sculptures. Uh, the designs of those are pretty intricate and they use some basic pieces in such interesting ways. I like the shaping and the angles there. The two minifigures are pretty cool as well. I'm not sure if this has uh, potential. I don't know. This is going to be one that I put in the middle. It's a fresh idea. There's not too much Egyptian tombs as actual 10K projects. So I don't really have too much to base this off of, of things that have been rejected before. This might be something that the public wants, but I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, I'm just putting that in the indecisive category. Then we have a Rolls-Royce Phantom 1, Phantom of Love. Now, a large car has been done before. There was this one from, I don't even know, what was it like 2015, 2016? Uh, but they don't do it too often. This design is pretty iconic as a Rolls-Royce Phantom. Um, I would say that this has potential, uh, but seeing how a lot of other cars have been denied recently from LEGO Ideas, I don't think this is like a runaway pick. So I'll say, yeah, this has a possibility, but I'm not super confident in it. Moon Palace. I, first off, love the color scheme here. Um, it almost looks like a bootleg Lego set because they always have some great colors on those bootleg Lego sets. The design of this one has a lot of nice blues. That is gorgeous. Uh, I do like the idea here. I think the thing that's making this uh, not a runaway pick as, oh yeah, this is definitely going to be made, even though it's absolutely gorgeous, is how do you sell this to the public? So I'm thinking, okay, Lego will say, it's the Lego Ideas Moon Palace, but the public, you know, a random non-Lego fan will be like, wait, what am I buying? Is Moon Palace like a new movie or something like that? So I almost fear that might get in the way. But I still think this is possible. So I'd probably put this on the same level as, say, the Rolls Royce. Where, yeah, it, it's possible, but not like, okay, yeah, this is definitely getting made. I hope it gets made because this, so far, is my favorite project in the review. It looks really gorgeous and it has a pretty unique architecture style to the buildings. Okay, we have NASA's SLS Block 1 and 1B Rockets Artemis missions. Sorry, I had to like read that really specifically. <laughs> but the design of this is another space project uh, based off of actual rockets and everything. I think it might be time for LEGO to do another NASA project uh, for ideas. I personally don't care about them, but it's been quite a while since we got our last one and uh, those do sell, you know, they're not my cup of tea. So I think this one's probably the most likely thing so far, even though it's not something that I care about personally. Uh, then we got Lego Anatomy. Now there was a similar project submitted of this uh, long ago, which I think was denied. This project in particular um, is just a very popular idea that I always see online for a lot of people who don't even like Lego 
we'll share these pictures of you know the minifigure cut in half in a lego brick built form um so i think it might be time to sell this to the public and yeah you could say in some ways it's a little frank in its display of say a brain and the intestines and everything but it's human anatomy i mean sure it's with the lego minifigure but uh that that's how it is so i don't think that will be a hurdle um the more graphic side of this it's funny to say that the human anatomy is graphic in any way uh so yeah i think this one's more likely than others the only problem that would hold it back would be those previous similar projects which have been denied uh, one of which was even a potential for them to bring back uh, as an actual project but it didn't get enough votes in that second uh, you know run so i worry that might hold it back a bit i think this is much more likely than a lot of the other stuff that we've seen so far in this review all right the Coraline pink palace um, i love that Coraline figure the build of the pink palace is beautiful too like the, the the pink and that gray is just such a great mesh with that that white lining the Coraline movie is a great movie it, it's a darker movie for kids and I, I wish there were more movies like that in recent times like Coraline um and I think Coraline has popularity nowadays where I've been seeing a kind of an uptick in Coraline merch in places that like box lunch or whatever so that all points towards, okay, there's potential here. I think the one thing holding it back, though, is that this is a rather big house. I love stuff like the Lego Ideas Home Alone, but Home Alone's a much more popular movie than Coraline. And that was, what, like a $200 plus dollar set? This would be a $200 plus dollar set, but Coraline's not that popular, uh, you know, compared to something like Home Alone. So I worry that might hold it back. I don't think it's something we should dismiss right away because again there's that uptick in Coraline merch uh, but yeah the, the, the video figures are pretty fun <laughs> so I would say um, low possibility but still possible and dang it I want it because I, I want more Lego sets on great movies uh, you know the quality of movies that Lego does sets for kind of make me a little bit like you know Coraline's a great movie that deserves Lego sets whatever um, this is the World Trade Center Twin Towers and Visa International Hotel 1979. Yes, the World Trade Center Twin Towers. Uh, a lot of talk, a lot of talk with this. Uh, you know, I, I don't even know where to start with this. Of course, the Twin Towers aren't with us. Um, for the tragic events on September 11th, 2001. This is an interesting project, uh, and in some ways it could be a tribute, but I think Lego is not gonna wanna touch this because there's a lot of baggage there in touching such a serious uh, topic. I know the World Trade Center isn't just 9-11, but I think a lot of people think that when they see the World Trade Center. Jeez, I wonder if I'll put that in the thumbnail. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't think this will be made. Beautiful project, though. Speaking of beautiful projects, we got Good Ogle's Garden. Um, this is really cool. I like the little uh, builds of the plants here. I don't think this will be made, though, because this is just literally like a Lego botanical set. You know, there's not much of a difference there. Except this time you get a minifigure, which is good Ogle. Um, so yeah, of course, Ogle, Lego backwards. Uh, ha 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 ha. Uh, if you're an Alpha Team fan, you know what's going on there. So yeah, not really likely at all, I think, um, for that one. Happier than ever. This is beautiful. I love the build here. Uh, the design of this is actually based off of a Billie Eilish album, which I had to look right now to see what it was based off because I didn't know. I was like, oh, this is a really beautiful design. So that's Billie Eilish up there. I like this better than, say, The Lover House uh, as somebody who doesn't really listen to Billie Eilish or Taylor Swift. You know, like, I, I guess I listen to Billie Eilish more than Taylor Swift. Like, I like some of her songs. Uh, the design of this just looks beautiful, though. I mean, look at that. Old-fashioned TV kind of retro interior there 
I really dig this. Like it's it's this is actually surprisingly really cool. Again, some cross, I guess, um, some 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 some, cr some cross appeal for people who don't really care too much about uh, you know Billie Eilish music or whatever. This is honestly one of my favorite projects in this review period so far. I'm digging this. <laughs> you know, the closest thing we got to this, of course, is uh, the NES with the retro TV. I like the back right there, which I guess are just some more frames from the music video. That is sick. Now, okay, my question is, though, is uh, is Billie Eilish appropriate for Lego? Because she has a little bit more, I guess, uh, a little bit more intense lyrics and stuff uh, than even like Taylor Swift or some of the other uh, BTS or whatever, uh, which BTS, of course, is the one who got the Lego set. I think that might hold it back a bit. Uh, so I'd say this is not super likely, especially since uh, the recent review period uh, denied a lover house. But of course, there's so many in future review periods. We'll see. There's probably one in this review period. Um, so I don't know if Lego is, is pausing on the musician stuff for ideas just yet. Or if it's too soon because BTS is still on store shelves. Doesn't seem like BTS is selling as well as we once thought. So who knows? So all that factored in, I'd say this is not impossible, but not very likely. And that's a shame because I kind of love it. <laughs> okay, uh, City Burger. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. This looks like a Lego Friends set. Um, or honestly, not even a Lego Friends set, but like one of those Lego creator sets they did for a bit, which were these modulars that all connect. Dang, I, I want more pictures of this, but th that's all we got. Dang it. Uh, but yeah, remember those modulars that all connected? It looks like those, but like if it was actually like a, a full modular instead of just like a small plate in like a open face back or whatever. Uh, so this I love, but again, it's the same problem with that early modular project in this review period where I just don't think they do modulars. So not likely at all. Uh, desktop rock and roll. This is cute, a uh, little jukebox for the desktop, uh, more pivoted towards rock and roll. You know, with stuff like the Polaroid just releasing, uh, there's a possibility. I really like this play feature, that is cool. Okay, that 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 is cool too. Uh, yeah, I'd say this is possible. Like, it, I, I don't think it's like a runaway, okay, yeah, this is definitely gonna be made, but uh, more possible than most of the stuff we looked at so far. Like I could totally see them kind of repurposing this into like, okay, desktop jukebox. And then like, you know, oh, it has this cool play feature with minifigures that pop out or whatever. So yeah, uh, possible, I would say. Uh, mid possibility, but still pretty possible. Phineas and Ferb. So Lego was gonna do a Phineas and Ferb set, but it's release got canceled. It was a Lego game set. Uh, that didn't have any minifigures. This one is minifigure focused and it has the Phineas and Ferb house. The design of this house uh, gives me some Simpsons house vibes, but it doesn't seem as detailed as Simpsons house, which means this won't be ridiculously priced. You know, Simpsons house was what, like a $200 set or something like that. Is it an open face back? Okay, it's not open face back. So, okay, maybe it would be a little bit under 200 or 200 at most. I, I don't think it would be 200. I, I think it would still be cheaper than Simpsons house. Uh, because the house does look smaller, but maybe I'm just uh, delusional there. Uh, the design of this has, m again, a minifigure focus, which the minifigures here, oh my gosh. Uh, the designs of Phineas and Ferb, that's kind of funny. They would do a specialized head or something, and even Doofenshmirtz. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Balloony is hilarious. I need that as an actual piece, right? It's Balloony. Um, I'm not like the biggest Phineas and Ferb fan. Good show, just not something I watch too much. Uh, Agent P, Perry the Platypus looks pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, it does this have a possibility of being made. I will put this in a low possibility because Phineas and Ferb is nostalgic for a lot of people now. It was a pretty dang popular show for Disney Channel. Disney and Lego have a good relationship. Disney's rebooting Phineas and Ferb in a year or so, apparently, for Disney+. Plus. So all of those actually are good for this project being made. But uh, I do think there's been other potential Phineas and Ferb Lego collabs. Those have been denied, especially with it not being on air at the moment. 
I guess it really all depends on when that Phineas and Ferb revival is coming out. Because uh, by the time this releases, let's say if this releases end of 2025, if this gets selected, um, they could coincide it with the release of the revival. If it doesn't, then uh, Lego might be scared that this is just releasing with no Phineas and Ferb stuff on TV or on streaming that's new or whatever. So who knows? Who knows? Who knows? They, they've done stuff like the Muppets CMF series which was released when there was no new Muppet stuff on air. Who knows? Uh, so yeah, I'd put this at a low possibility, but it's still a project that I would love to be made because I like seeing cartoons made into Lego sets. I like buildings like these dollhouse styles. The minifigures are fun. So yeah, I want it to be made. Low possibility though. Uh, JWST, this is a space project. Uh, I'm not saying NASA here. Is it, uh, yeah, in collaboration with NASA? Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, the James Webb Space Telescope. Not sure if uh, I'm as impressed by the build here compared to the last space project. I don't know. I think this might be a little bit of a tougher sell right away. Uh, but uh, I guess there's still a possibility there. I'm not too knowledgeable on the subject. So maybe if I was, I could put a better judgment. But so yeah, I still think it's possible compared to a lot of the other stuff in this review so far. All right, so Harry Styles. Uh, Harry Styles' music, I think, is clean enough, but uh, I haven't listened to his whole catalog or enough of his music to really make that judgment. So you're going to have to let me know in the comments if his stuff is, like, really vulgar or whatever. Uh, but from my perception of what I've heard from his stuff, seems clean. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think, uh, Billie Eilish is maybe a little bit more possible than, well, no, Harry Styles is more clean. Billie Eilish might be more popular though. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'd say uh, low possibility for now. Not entirely sure. Uh, okay. Lego microscope. If this works, this could actually be one that I think uh, Lego would go with. Let's see. Uh, t -t 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 yeah, would make any science fan excited. Designed to look like the real thing. Okay, so uh, it doesn't seem like it actually works. But uh, still, it looks like a working microscope. And it's actually by uh, a YouTuber, Brick Science. So that's kind of darn cool if you ask me. Look at all this. That's cool. Okay. So yeah, very impressive, even if it doesn't work. Um, I think they're going to like that, uh, you know, science angle, you know, STEM. But uh, the design of this, I think, might be a tougher sell, especially since it's not working. Um, and it's a little bit more of like, oh, it's, it's something that's used in labs, which... Uh, they might say, oh, kids don't want to do this or whatever, which, you know, of course kids might like microscopes and everything. Uh, but I think they would rather go with something like that uh, jukebox, uh, which is just a little bit more novelty than a microscope, I guess. So I'd say low possibility, uh, but I guess not impossible. Then we have the... I can't even say it, but tree trail. I can't say that first part. This looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I mean, I like the little side cabin build or whatever. That 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 looks freaking beautiful too. Oh my gosh. And and just the, the design of the trees. Wow. Okay. That 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 is so cool. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh so yeah, I love that aspect. I think the location uh, Lego will cool off on because like they had the A-frame cabin this year, which was in the forest. Uh, so I don't think they will do this. Uh, this is a specific location. I wasn't familiar with the location though. Uh, the giant square or whatever it says. Uh, so yeah, low possibility, but not impossible. I like it quite a bit personally. Uh, Tesla Center. This actually looks pretty dang cool, if you ask me. It almost looks AI generated, but I doubt it's AI generated. 
Uh, I don't think they'll do this because there's just so much controversy with like Tesla and Elon Musk. So I think that's a, a hard pass for Lego. Uh, the working canal lock. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I want this to be made so bad. But I feel like it's not like, again, one that Lego will make right away. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. Uh, but it's a little bit of a tougher sell. Because it's going to be like, okay, to the general public, we're going to call this the Lego working canal lock. And the general public's going to be like, wait, what's the working canal lock? So this has a whole canal lock dam feature, it seems like, which is pretty freaking awesome. Oh, okay, this is so cool. I'm sorry. Look at this. Look at that. Okay, that, that, that's awesome. That, that feature looks awesome. And the build here is gorgeous, too. It's not just the function. It's, it's actually like a whole... Oh, it's a, it's a whole system, but th this this looks gorgeous. It has life. It has a story, you know. Look at this. Okay, that that that's so cool. And you can put power functions. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, yeah, I love this build, but I just feel like it's a little bit of a tough sell for the subject matter being such a specific thing. Um, but I think they could figure something out here because it doesn't really overlap with much of what Lego Ideas has done before. And there is this learning aspect to it. So yeah, I'd say low possibility. I hope it personally gets made. One of my favorites in this review so far. Christmas Theater. Uh, I don't know. I think this is like an overlap with Winter Village. I don't think LEGO would do this hard pass. Even though there's been lots of other Winter Village stuff in review. And they've always passed it. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph. I can't believe 10th anniversary. I remember when this first came out. You know, the, the movie. Uh, like seeing it after school. Uh, the design of this project, though, you know, it, it calls back to the Wreck-It Ralph arcade game from the film of the whole building there. That looks pretty accurate. A uh, very samey build besides for some windows. Uh, they'd probably downscale this building significantly, and they could probably make this like a, you know, max tent $100 set or something like that. Um, and by doing that, um, they could still get the Wreck-It Ralph feel there. And you could get these cool minifigs. I really like the Ralph fig, which is like this interesting big fig combo. Yeah, not like a straight up modern big fig. Uh, it's brick built. I guess more like uh, the Dr. Robotnik big fig from the Lego Idea Sonic. Uh, Penelope came out great. Uh, you know, Fix-It Felix looks great. And Fix-It Felix's uh, wife, I think it is. Uh, you know, like they met in the first movie or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I think this has potential, but I'm not seeing too much Wreck-It Ralph merch from Disney, which could be a little bit iffy. It's kind of like, you know, they don't do too much Gravity Falls merch. Lego hasn't done the Gravity Falls stuff yet. Um, so yeah, low possibility, I'd say, but there's still a chance for it to be made. Then we have Stray Kids, or, or sorry, Ordinary Maniac, um, by Madam Terrific House 100 and Brick Cucumber. The reason I'm saying the names is because Brick Cucumber is actually a friend. Uh, they did that amazing Simpsons Series 3, which we did a video on. Um, just an awesome custom series. I'm not too familiar with Stray Kids, if I had to be honest. Um, this is a musical act that I'm even less familiar with than Billie Eilish and uh, Harry Styles. So I think if I'm not familiar with it, I don't know if the general public will be familiar with it. And I think that might hold it back quite a bit. But uh, I do really like the minifigures, the design of this and everything. So yeah, I don't think this is really likely at all, if I had to be honest, uh, because I just I don't think the general public really knows uh, too much of Stray Kids uh, compared to some of the other musical acts that they've denied before and the ones that are in review here. So sorry, Brick Cucumber, but you did an amazing job because this project build looks fantastic, if you ask me. Then you have Rainforest Frogs. The design of these frogs looks gorgeous. Uh, of course, we just got the insect build recently, which was brick-built animals. Uh, I do feel like this doesn't have that much breadth of animals. We just have these specific rainforest frogs, which a lot of them almost feel like they're just straight recolors of each other. And I think that might hold it back a bit. I don't think it's straight up impossible, though, because, again, LEGO does like having these animal builds. We would have a Kingfisher build coming or something like that. Um... And especially if it has a little bit of a botanical side to it like this one does. So I'd say a low possibility, but not impossible. 
This is really cool. Lego Steve Irwin. Okay. Steve Irwin is like just beloved by like anybody. You know, like n nobody hates Steve Irwin. You know, the crocodile hunter, of course. Uh, very tragic when he died. I remember, oh my gosh, the day he died, like that news spread. That was just, it, it was it was just an absolute crazy and devastating time. Uh, but the design of this is awesome with an actual majestic crocodile build. Because I, I don't really think of too many like Lego crocodile builds. So it's an animal they haven't really done much. So that's cool. And then of course you have Steve Irwin as a minifigure and a little tribute there. I love the little baby crocodile right there. That is so cool. I love seeing that piece being used. Uh, but yeah, huge fan of this niche idea that I think works. It's creative. I, I haven't seen much Steve Irwin projects, but it, you know, everybody loves Steve Irwin. The build here is fantastic. I think this is actually all very likely compared to some of the other builds here. I'd buy it. You got minifigure appeal, big brick built animal appeal. Yeah, I, I, I think this is a great idea. Uh, so yeah, one of the most likely so far, if you ask me. Then we have Camelot, the Knights of the Round Table. Uh, this is interesting. So is this based specifically on... Okay, uh, okay, so... This is a um, popular French comedy medieval fantasy television series. Okay, so really this being made relies on is this super popular around the world and is the content of this series appropriate? I don't know if the content of this series is appropriate. I don't know how popular this is outside of America. But I don't think this is popular inside America, unfortunately. Um, and that's where a lot of Lego's market is. So I feel like that holds it back quite a bit. And uh, I, I, I feel like this doesn't really have a likelihood of being made because it is a more obscure current pop culture thing, at least in uh, this side of the world. So I don't know. Uh, I don't think that has a likelihood. I would like it to be made because I love Lego doing foreign media outside of just like American media. I know they're not. An American company but it seems like all they do is like American licenses and it's like chill out all right anyways classic tractor uh, pretty solid build uh, I mean not pretty solid this is a beautiful build what am I saying I just I don't know uh, too much of the appeal of this like I literally don't know uh, is this something that people want who are fans of this type of build so I'll put that in the more I don't know category uh, maybe I should have done that with the previous uh, Rolls Royce, but whatever. All right, four space. This looks so gorgeous. Of course, uh, kind of a reminiscent of the four spin sets. This looks so cool. Holy cajoli. This is, this is just freaking awesome. Why is it not loading? Come on. Sorry, I'm, I'm just gushing over this build. Okay. This, super cool not overlapping anything that lego is doing i mean we're they're doing a lot of uh castle tribute sets this one doesn't overlap that uh you know we the closest thing would be an overlap with the giveaway promo uh but i don't know i uh they did the medieval blacksmith shop hmm i'd say this is possible i think this is possible i'd say that i don't think it's a runaway hit but i think it's possible i'll put that in that category okay Medieval blacksmith was made. This is possible. I, just, I don't. I don't see it as one that. Oh yeah, we're we're definitely gonna make this. You know. Uh, anyways, vintage service station. This is so beautiful. Uh, of course, one of my favorite Lego sets of all time has a gorgeous service station. Town plan. This design is different from town plans. Even better than that design. Um, similar. Similar, of course. You even got some retro cars there, interior, some batteries as a design. Oh, I love that. I think this has a possibility because it's it's something that City can't do as it has this vintage angle and it's much more complete and it's something that Lego wouldn't do on their own. So yeah, I think this has a, a possibility. I think this is, I think this is even more possible than something like, uh, you know, the forest uh, base up here. I think this has a strong possibility, honestly. Beautiful set, beautiful set. Sea turtle, I really like the shading here, done with the different uh, shades of uh, bricks and plates there. Uh, I'm trying to think, would this be, I guess the biggest overlap would be what, like 
the Lego uh, Disney 100 set with uh, the Finding Nemo characters. The design of this is a gorgeous sea turtle. Uh, I think something like the Crocodile Hunter one has a little bit more edge to it. That's not to say something like this is impossible. So I'd say low possibility, but not impossible. Uh, no Man's Sky. Oh my gosh, No Man's Sky. That's an interesting game to have Lego sets of. Uh, the design of this has a really interesting ship that doesn't like overlap anything you'd see from like Lego Guardians of the Galaxy or Lego Star Wars. Love the color scheme there. Um, it almost gives me some like Skyhopper vibes. Uh, the minifigure is pretty dang cool too. I like that. Uh, no Man's Sky is just like, do people still play it? Do people don't? Um, so I put this in the I don't know because I don't know the statistics of No Man's Sky at the moment. But it's something that I think is a little bit more recognizable in video game uh, culture. Though it is still something that's outside of the mainstream game company. So, yeah, I'm not sure. You're going to have to help me out in the comments for the the, the the real epic gamers. Help me out in the comments. Is, is No Man's Sky something that people still play? Then we have Pirate Treasure Chest. Um, you know, we've gotten Pirate Lego ideas before. Uh, Pirates of Barracuda Bay, one of my favorite Lego sets of all time, if you ask me. Uh, this, I think, is a little bit uh, less appealing. Uh, it's cool, the treasure chest idea. I like that. But the design of this, what's inside, just isn't that appealing. I love how it transforms, though. That That's, like, such a cool feature, now that I see it in action. But again, I just think what it reveals doesn't even invoke too many pirate feels. Uh, dang, that was an unintentional rhyme. But yeah, so I don't know. I'd say this one just is missing that edge to it. So not very likely, if you ask me. Queen Elizabeth II, so an actual like historical thing. Uh, of course, I say historical, but it's the more recent queen. I don't really care about all that stuff and everything, so I'm not too knowledgeable on it. Um, but I, I feel like maybe it's a bit too soon for this. You know, she, she passed away recently, so let, let's cool off a bit. Um, and if they do end up doing that, I could feel it being one of those, like, Lego Idea giveaway promos where it's, like, a small vignette. Um, so, yeah, I don't think it's likely, if you ask me. Uh, the Mechanical Flip Calendar. This is really cool, but uh, Lego is literally releasing one of these, um, or they just released it as part of their uh, Lunar New Year line uh, for 2024. So I don't think they'll do this. It just has some overlap there. Serial's awesome, though. Great content creator. Go check them out. But yeah, I don't think this is likely at all, unfortunately. The Italian Rivera. <laughs> this is so gorgeous. This I think you could sell. You could just put Lego Ideas Italian Rivera. And it looks a little bit like, uh, you know, the Venusian houses from that uh, Bricklink designer program. Oh, my gosh. But this one, as opposed to, say, the Venusian houses, doesn't look like it would be, like, over $200. This could be uh, yeah, like $200 at most, I think. Um, something close, maybe $150. No, yeah, maybe, maybe 200 and it, it doesn't overlap anything LEGO has done. LEGO has not done this Italian architecture in this uh, direct-to-consumer style. I would love this. I think there's appeal uh, to just the general audience where you put the LEGO Italian Rivera, you know. So I think this is a strong possibility, and it's one of my favorites of the review, so I'm very happy that it's a strong possibility. Then we have Subnautica, the Aurora, sorry. I've always had a problem pronouncing R's. The design of this, oh, GIF, GIF, right there. Come on, come on, load. There you go. Uh, the design of this is from a video game, Subnautica, which I'm not too familiar with. I've heard of the name before, uh, but I think it just doesn't have that popularity. So I don't think this is really likely um, for, especially this size vehicle, unfortunately. Um, the Pink uh, Palace Apartment. Wow, there's another Pink Palace apartment. Oh my gosh, this one doesn't seem to have minifigures. Uh, so I think this one has less of an edge than the last Pink Palace apartment uh, because it doesn't have minifigures. 
but uh, that's cool that there's two in one review period because that means there's some popularity. That means people want this to be made, which gives all the more reason for one of them to be selected. And like I said, the other one has minifigures, so I think that one will be selected, but uh, gorgeous builds for both of them. So I hope Lego Coraline is made, and I think there's a possibility. Gallery of Warriors. Uh, wow, this is absolutely... Whoa, okay, okay. This, this is a great build, too. Like, look at this. What a display piece. Oh, man. Of course, we got the Lego Ideas Viking Village recently. Uh, but uh, to get this detail of Viking ship, I think there's a possibility. Of course, some overlap with what uh, Lego Creator put out recently. Uh, but I think there is a possibility. I, I would put that to a low possibility, but still possible. Ah, Krusty Burger. I can't believe this is in this review. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I'm, I'm so glad this is in the review. I want this to be made so badly. Please, please, Lego, just make more Lego Simpsons. <laughs> oh, I love this. Opens just like the Quickie Mart. That's literally how the Quickie Mart set opened. It gives us the other car of the family because um, we got the pink car in the Lego Simpsons house. It's such a good compliment to those. And I know those aren't on store shelves. I think this could still be sold without the Lego Simpsons house or CMF series on store shelves because it, it, it stands alone. You know, it's the Krusty Burger. It's iconic to television. However, it's been in other reviews before and it's been denied. And Lego doesn't make any Simpsons sets anymore. They choose not to. I think all of that is stuff that pushes against this. So very low possibility. I don't think it's impossible. I would love for Lego to choose this. If I had Lego pick one thing, I selfishly would have Lego pick this out of the whole review. I love Lego Simpsons. Do I think it's the best in the whole review? No. I still think it's a gorgeous build. Um, do I think it's likely? Unfortunately, no. I, I don't think it's likely. But I don't think it's impossible. I keep hoping. All right, working log fume. Oh my gosh, I'm glad this is back because one of them got denied. Oh, this is so cool. This is gorgeous. I love roller coasters in Lego, but we haven't gotten a log fume before. So, or sorry, log fume. I always used to call it log fume when I played Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. But yeah, I'm, I'm so glad this is like a working one. That's so cool. That's actually motorized. And log flumes are something that we haven't gone from Lego before. Um, I, I love the idea here. It's unique enough. Um, but of course, it's one that has been denied before. That's why this is number two. So I think that has it going against it. I'd say a low possibility. Uh, so yeah. Ikea. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's that's really funny. I wonder if they have the shark. Do they have the shark? Come on. You gotta, you gotta have the shark. Let's see. Oh. Uh... I don't think they have the shark. That sucks. Okay. I don't like this project anymore. No, I'm kidding. Um, this is still a gorgeous project. You just got to put the shark in there, okay? Uh, the design of this is uh, absolutely like a... This is really creative uh, and a great interpretation of the IKEA stores. But I think Lego doesn't do like specific stores as Lego sets anymore. You know, back in the day, we got like Lego McDonald's. But anytime any specific store has shown up in Lego Ideas reviews, which they have since the beginning, they've always denied it. So I don't think this has a possibility at all. But dang it, I want a Lego Ikea. Then we have the A-Team Double Heat. I still can't believe to this day that they actually made an A-Team Lego Dimension set. Um, because it, it doesn't seem like A-Team has much relevance in the modern day pop culture zeitgeist. Which is why I say this has no possibility. But the only thing that has it going for it on this being possible is that there was a LEGO Dimensions A-Team set. Isn't that weird? So yeah, extremely low possibility because of the LEGO Dimensions A-Team set. But I guess it's still possible because like it's like, okay, yeah, do the A-Team's vehicle in minifigure scale because you just gave us this micro scale one. Come on, just do it already. Then I think the final one is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Holy cajoli. So this project would be so much more likely if it was based off of the 70s movie that all of us all know and love. However, it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which makes it complicated. It's not clear if it's based off of the book or the movie, 
the 2005 movie does not ever get merch. See, it got merch back in the day, but uh, whenever they merchandise now, it's either based off of the new Wonka movie or based off of that 70s movie. Like, I was at Publix the other day, and I was shocked to see that they had cereal based off of the 70s movie. Like, Gene Wilder was on the box. So if this project was based off the 70s movie, I think this would be a surefire pick. But since it's based off of maybe the 2005 movie, they don't merchandise that one, and I don't think this will be made. Okay, so that's all 42 projects. So many interesting ones here. Uh, my favorites are definitely the Krusty Burr. I mean, you know, it's just like, a, that, that, that needs to be made. But other great ones, the Flume Ride, the Willy Wonka one is great, if you ask me. Italian Rivera is beautiful and very possible. Uh, other great ones, the Service Station is beautiful. The Crocodile uh, Hunter right there. Oh my gosh. Uh, so cool. Love that one. But yeah, lots of good contenders. Uh, shorter, I guess, a list than usual. But uh, still many, many great ones. So let me know which of these you want the most. But also which you think is the most likely. Because the one you want the most isn't the one that's most likely usually. Like again, I want the Krusty Burger. But I don't think they're going to make the Krusty Burger subscribe here for more fun lego videos I'm, I'm finally back in 2024 i'm so sorry for a little break and i'll see you later peace out bye